Let's see what the the listeners are saying. Actually, before that, we got big news tonight. What's Corey that? Graves is off SmackDown, and he has been replaced by, as it says here, sports media star and 2020 Wrestling Observer Newsletter Rookie of the Year Award winner Pat McAfee. He makes his debut tonight as a member of the SmackDown commentary team. Going to call the show with Cole and... It's just says Cole. Yeah. Who else is on SmackDown? I was trying to think about that, and I think it's just Graves. These it? announced teams are so <laughs> awful that, like, oh, okay. I have no idea who's on what show. I do everything in my power to not have to listen to them talk. Well, but, like, they manage to get into my ears one way or the other. They don't need anybody else besides Pat McAfee there. And it seems to be, and it makes complete sense with the direction that WWE has gone in the last couple of years and the way that they have extended out their tentacles to anybody that will associate with them and them, you know, it's still in the process of, I guess, legitimizing themselves. Bringing in Adnan Verk and bringing in Pat McAfee makes complete sense to me in a way of how they want to present themselves and present these shows. Now, in the case of Verk, big wrestling fan, but obviously is very unaware of the product, as well as maybe not as big of a wrestling fan as he may believe that he is. McAfee, we know, is a massive wrestling fan in the way that we like our crossover stars to be wrestling fans. He did incredible work in, AE, or in AEW on NXT. And I thought this is somebody that sooner or later WWE on the main roster would want to do something with. Now, for both of these guys... Is Vince going to be yelling into their ear? Is Michael Cole at the desk and backstage taking the lead in some of this? Because it doesn't seem like these are two people with the experiences that they've had in their careers and the professional level that they've gotten to, that they're going to be able to put up, I wouldn't think, with Vince McMahon screaming into their ears. So that's what's interesting about this. But the fact that they've reached out to these types of guys, especially Pat McAfee, doesn't surprise me whatsoever. You know, I I can't wait. I hope Pat McAfee does a good job because he did a he was so great on NXT, and he was so great it was like oh we got to get rid of this guy. I don't know why they made that decision or whatever, but like one day he was just gone. Like he was leading an evil stable of heels, and one day he just vanished, and he disappeared off the face of the earth. And then suddenly they announced he's going to be the SmackDown announcer. And the thing with Pat McAfee is uh, if you ever listen to Pat McAfee talk wrestling. He uses a lot of terms that you never hear on WWE television. When's the last time somebody on WWE television used the term IWC? Never. So uh, it's going to be very interesting to see what they do or do not do with Pat McAfee on commentary. I hope he does great. How long before you have the urge or try to resist the urge to bring him into the ring as well too because obviously and i don't want that i'm not pushing for that or or anything like that but i I do wonder with his abilities that you know does he lead into something else and the other thing too is i don't know what he's got going on but he's got that radio show that's been really successful and i think he's got a new deal on that he's a multimedia you know as far as having video and all that sort of stuff. I mean, I just, is this, is he really going to be there every single week? You know? They, yeah, I guess, he's the new commentator. I, I guess, you know, I just. I'm, he ain't I'm, doing I'm, it for free, buddy. Oh, hell no, he ain't. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> but it's, but it's, it'll be interesting to see if they do have a third person in the booth, too, because, you know, this is a guy that during Super Bowl time and other times, obviously you're going to love to use him for that and, and have him be associated with you, but he's going to be busy as well, too. So it'll be interesting to see if they do have a third person there just in the case that when Pat McAfee's not. Is here, Wrestling Observer Live, Mike Sempervivi. Oh, look at that thing. WrestlingObserver.com. Mm-hmm. You got something to say? So I got uh, vaccinated here today, mm-hmm. and uh, I, had, I had people asking all sorts of questions, like, uh, how does it feel to be at the same level of an ape? Great! <laughs> Any side effects, they said. Well, no side effects yet, except my hair fell out. I mean, yeah, was, apparently. Uh, we got the same thing here, and you apparently lost your hair. Is this a I, what happened here? I don't know. Actually, what it was... So I had said months ago, when I had my hair and beard, that when I get that shot, I'm going to shave my head and my beard. And as many of you are well aware, I shaved my beard like a month ago. Because uh, I've had many horrible, horrible haircuts in my life. 
And uh, the only one that my lovely, beautiful wife ever put her foot down was shaving my head. It's the only one. But I did something clever. I grew a horrible beard. And she was like, ah, oh, beard's even worse than the bald head. So then it was easy. That was pretty savvy. I shaved my beard. And then, like, it was all right. She was okay with me shaving my head. So my head is shaved right now. You know, uh, we screwed up, though. I mean, we had a whole, we could have built up to a stiff here. Everybody would have forgotten about it, like you saying that before. We could have built up. You could have had a bad no. review by Lance. You would shave your head for that. We could have put a stip onto this. The you problem, the problem Mike, because I opened my big mouth months ago, and I had to, yeah, I had to stick to it. Are you look, come on, the attention span of some of the people that are, are on that site and are existing today. I mean, me, for example, we would have forgotten about that. You build it something good. It's like WWE, a spotless mind. My head is so pale. That's the problem. <laughs> yes, it is. It's like my, go my, my scalp is very white. <laughs> and so it's just like it's weird looking Dude, now. Dude. So I think sure I'm going to get outside. You... Luckily, there's sun for two straight weeks. So I'm going to get out there. I'm going to tan my head. And then we'll see how it goes. Put I kind of like it. on that thing, though. Don't You won't want to burn on the top of your head. So make sure you take care Seattle, of that before you bro. go out in the sun. I mean, come on. I know. I'm just saying. UV is like two all day right now. All right, enough about my my head. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.